Hi there, I'm Dr. Stephen Fallon. Welcome to this video. And basically, I have a question for you uh, to start this video off. Have you ever gone to a course, uh, like been to a program where they're training you on occlusion, and they ask you to do the bilateral manipulation, and you try that, and you take the bite records, and you wonder, did I do this right? Uh, did I guide the patient into the right centric relation location? Or was the patient really resisting? Or did I have my technique wrong? You know, I always had these questions when I was a younger dentist. And, um, you know, I think I was four years out of dental school and I went down to the Panky Institute with a few of my friends. And they were showing us bilateral manipulation. And I'll tell you, I was very, uh, almost disturbed when I left by the fact that I didn't know if I knew that I had it and I didn't know if I really was in the right place or using the right technique. It's a very technique sensitive uh, procedure to use bilateral manipulation to take a uh, centric relation bite record. Now there are a few people that are really talented at it and can totally use it and they do a great job with it. But for the rest of us, <laughs> myself included, I wanted something that was a little more predictable and just felt more real um, and more um, less dependent on me and my technique. So what I realized after taking a few more programs, I basically went to Coy's, to the Coy's Center in uh, Seattle, and I also went to Spear when he was in Seattle. So they had small group uh, workshops, you know, both of them, when I did them in the 90s, they'd have 12 people at each. So you had a lot of hands-on interactive time with Dr. Coy's and a lot of time with Dr. Spear at his office as well. And I learned from them uh, a number of different techniques, but the easiest one that I learned was with the leaf gauge. And what I'd like to do today is just share with you a few tips for using the leaf gauge to uh, take centric relation bite records. And the leaf gauge that I use is basically this little uh, thin leaf gauge made by Great Lakes Orthodontics. I ordered mine from Great Lakes Orthodontics. I've tried a whole number of leaf gauges, but the nice thing about the Great Lakes Orthodontics one is you can autoclave it. So we autoclave this in the statum, so, and it doesn't get destroyed. You know, some of them, they really stick together if you autoclave them. But this one really seems to go through the autoclave quite well. So that's, you know, from a sterilization perspective, I think it's better than cold soaking. So uh, I prefer this leaf gauge. And it works really well. It, you know, they don't stick together the leaves and it just is a nice little product. So I'd recommend you buy your leaf gauges from Great Lakes Orthodontics and they're very inexpensive. And so for the tips for using the leaf gauge, what I would suggest is you, you take out about a third of the leaves, you place the leaves under the upper central incisors, you ask the patient to bite down on the leaf gauge, and the trick that I've found to get them into centric relation is I actually ask them to go forward first. So I say go forward, and then I say go all the way back, and then squeeze. And the motion of going all the way back and squeezing activates the elevator muscles to the point that they seat the condyle into centric relation. And now I don't have any technique other than what I'm telling them that's involved. I'm not using my hands. I'm not really involved. It's the patient seating themselves in this border position as opposed to me seating them into centric relation and trying to manipulate them and typically fighting their muscles. So the, tip, the, tip, the number one tip is forward, back, and squeeze. And the number two tip is you have to figure out if they're actually in CR. And the way that I do that is I ask them if there's any tension or tenderness. If they have tension, a lot of muscle tension when they're doing this, they're not in CR. The lateral pterygoid muscle is typically in spasm and they need to be deprogrammed. But you can, you can try deprogramming them with the leaf gauge or you can switch and make a Lucia jig. Uh, but if they go forward, back and squeeze, and there's no tension and te or tenderness, then they're typically in CR. And you could take your centric relation bite record right then. And um, in my practice, uh, another tip that I will give you is that we take two sets of bite records at the diagnostic appointment, and then I compare them. And I can accurately compare them using uh, the MPI, compare my uh, mountings using the MPI, the SAM3 MPI uh, product. 
And I can tell if my mounting is exactly correct, and I can tell if my byte records were the same. And if I get two sets of byte records that are identical using this technique, I feel that the patient is in centric relation. So that's another tip. Uh, that would be tip number three. And then tip number four is when you're taking the bite record, make sure you have enough leaves that when they go back and squeeze and you look back at their molars, there's about one and a half to two millimeters of occlusal clearance. You need that space for the bite record. Otherwise, the bite record's too thin. And when you go to trim it, you're going to just, it's going to fall apart. So you need about one and a half to two millimeters. You can gauge how much of how much you want, but roughly one and a half to two millimeters. I wouldn't recommend a lot more than that. I think that's the optimal range. And then another tip for using the leaf gauge is that I actually use the leaf gauge for equilibration. And I show this in my equilibration DVD. And it's a really nice technique. You just start taking out the leaves until you find a point of initial contact. You adjust that point of initial contact, take out another leaf, find the next contact, adjust that. And I basically equilibrate the patient until the cuspids contact, and I have anterior guidance. Um, so it's a really nice technique, and it's really elegantly displayed uh, with lots of live video on my equilibration DVD. And another way that you can use the leaf gauge is to equilibrate your provisionals. So if you put in a full mouth case, and you have a full mouth of provisionals, and to make sure that the provisionals are seated in centric relation with equal contacts across the arch, you can use the leaf gauge and equilibrate your provisionals the same way that I would equilibrate the teeth. And um, another tip, this is just tips flying at you here, uh, another tip with the leaf gauge is you can use this to take centric relation bite records for a splint. So you can use this to take your splint bite records because it's much better than just having the bite record in MI. You'll never get your splint adjusted into centric relation very easily if you take an MI bite record and make the splint, an occlusal splint. Um, another thing that you can do is when you insert your occlusal splint, you use the leaf gauge again, taking out leaves till the first contact hits, adjust the splint there, and adjust the splint until you have equal contacts on both sides of the arch, and the cuspids again are in contact. So a lot of different tips for using the leaf gauge. I think it's a really valuable tool for practice. And it's one of those rare things in our practice that's very inexpensive compared to buying uh, different types of equipment like this microscope. You know, I use this microscope for uh, a lot of my restorative procedures just to gain a lot more precision. But it's a very expensive piece of equipment. Uh, the another, ni another nice thing about the microscope is I actually videotape a lot of my procedures to put into my DVDs and seminars. So the microscope is great, but it's very expensive. And the leaf gauge is just one of the least expensive things that we can buy in dental practice. And it really helps us in a lot of different ways. So I would like, I would like to share with you a little video that I uh, created and it's just about two minutes and it's going to show you how I take the centric relation bite record just the motion of forward back and squeeze and then injecting the bite uh, record material we use a um, bite record material from uh, Great Lakes so Orthodontics here is the video and I use a polyvinyl siloxane bite record material you can use whatever product is really comfortable in your hands just make sure that it trims nicely and it doesn't fall apart when you trim it so here's the video uh, okay, so we're going to put this in, bite down. That's a good amount of space. Now go forward, go back, back all the way, squeeze a little bit. Do you feel any pain or tension or tenderness in your joint or, mm -mm. or in your muscles through here? No? You're good? Mm -hmm. Okay, open, bite down. That's good. Okay, so, just take this, open, open really wide, and bite down. Go forward a little, back all the way, and squeeze. Just stay back all the way. We'll let that set. Okay, open. Just 
want to look at them. Looks good. Okay. Open, bite down. Do you feel any tension or tenderness? So that's the little short video that demonstrates how to uh, use the leaf gauge for a CR bite record. And that video shows how I use it, a, a really quick version of how I use it for taking CR bite records for diagnostic records. I have a different technique that I don't use the leaf gauge for when I'm taking CR bite records for a full mouth case, for example. I have a few different techniques that I use and I'm mostly making Lucia jigs or types of styles of Lucia jigs. And if you're interested in this type of information and you liked what I talked about with the leaf gauge, I'd encourage you to consider ordering my occlusion DVD bundle. And basically what I've done is I've bundled my four occlusion DVDs together along with my um, occlusion, uh, functional occlusion and full mouth rehabilitation seminar audio and DVD series. I bundled them together in a package and when you order this package you get a special bonus which you'll be able to access immediately. So with this DVD collection basically I have the first DVD is predictable bite records from diagnosis to full mouth rehabilitation and it's two DVDs about two and a half hours of learning material. And I basically talk about Lucia Jig bite records, Koi's deprogrammer bite records, and then bite records for complex cases. So how do I take a bite record if I'm preparing the whole mouth? How do I take a bite record for a full arch case? You know, lots of um, examples of large cases, including an implant reconstruction. What do you do when you have no anterior teeth, you're using an implant reconstruction? Uh, because all these techniques rely on some kind of Lucia jig style of bite record. So that uh, DVD also goes into a lot of detail on how to use the leaf gauge for uh, diagnostic records. Uh, bite records for diagnostic records. And it goes into the rationale for the centric relation bite records. You know, you could use different uh, occlusal positions, but I use centric relation because it's a very simple, easy to use border position that's repeatable. And uh, for me, it's very simple. I can buy a very inexpensive tool, like the leaf gauge, and take my bite record. And I don't need a lot of expensive armamentarium. So that's Predictable Bite Records, that's DVD 1 in the Occlusion DVD series. The next DVD is Mounting and Evaluating Study Models. And this again is two DVDs. It's about two hours long and I go through in detail, I demonstrate in detail the protocol for mounting study models as well as using what I referred to earlier, the MPI, if you're using the SAM system. This DVD will be applicable though if you're not using the SAM system because every system has some kind of sentry check uh, device that you can use when to check and verify your mountings. Uh, we also go through in this DVD a demonstration, as I said, of actually live mounting of the models and I go through a model analysis, a model analysis. So I tell you what to look for on the models and how to analyze your mounted models to evaluate the patient's occlusion. So another, um, you know, another really valuable DVD if you're interested in occlusion and more complex dental cases. The next DVD in the series is Equilibration Planning and Techniques. And this is another two disc DVD series. It has over 90 minutes of live patient treatment. And with this DVD, what you'll see is how I do a trial equilibration on the mounted models and then it shows you how I do the equilibration live on the patient. And this one uh, was a fairly complex equilibration. It took me two appointments and I have video from the first appointment, video from the second appointment, both very detailed videos filmed between the microscope and my other two cameras that we were using. So you get a very good feel for how we were doing this. And then I have a follow-up appointment a month later where we talk to the patient and see how they're feeling. So this is, a, I think, if you're at all interested in equilibration or even equilibrating your provisionals and porcelain rehabilitations, this is a very good video because it goes into detail on how to do this. And you see it done live in high-detail video. So that's DVD number three. 
And then DVD number four I produced because this is something that I get a lot of questions about. This is a one disc DVD, but it's also 90 minutes. And this is basically a keynote presentation about how to change the vertical dimension. So what do you need to know about vertical dimension? How would you change the vertical dimension? And how would you know if you need to change the vertical dimension? You know, what are the criteria if you're considering whether or not to change the vertical dimension? And I show you two techniques for changing the vertical dimension that I've used many times over the last 12 to 15 years. And they work very predictably, very predictably. And I also tell you how to test out the change in vertical dimension. I tell you the secrets on how to test out the change in vertical dimension with your uh, provisional restorations. And I show you a number of examples on how to do that. I even show you on one case how to do that without um, preparing all the teeth. So it's an interesting uh, technique. So that's DVD number four. And then as part of the bundle, I've now included my audio recording of my last seminar, which was functional occlusion and full mouth rehabilitation. And this was a two day seminar and there's 13 audio discs in here. And then I included a DVD as well that we filmed during the seminar where I was mounting a set of study models on the SAM3 articulator and trimming the bite records and all the things that you need to do to mount a case. I was doing that live and the audience was asking me questions. So I included the DVD for that because some of the questions were really good and I just wanted you to see again how we do this. And you know, in my practice, my assistant mounts the cases. I've trained her how to do it. But having your assistant watch this DVD on this uh, CD and DVD series and having her watch the DVD um, mounting models DVD, she should be able to do this as well for you. And the other thing that's included in this package is the course binder from the functional occlusion and full mouth rehabilitation K, uh, seminar. And in this binder, this binder is full of a lot of good information and uh, some really great resources for you to use in your practice. And if you look here, I've included many of the forms that I use in my dental practice today. I have the risk assessment for complex cases form, which you'll hear and see the uh, handout about this, how we evaluate the risks involved in treating uh, patients with complex problems for uh, you know, a full mouth rehabilitation or even a partial mouth rehabilitation or even a veneer case. I've included my smile evaluation and consultation form. I've included my TMJ and facial pain problem questionnaire. I've included my functional analysis form, which we fill out when we're completing a functional analysis for the patient. I've concluded my model analysis form. I've included a sample of one of the estimates we provide a patient when we're talking to them about doing a reconstruction. I've included my diagnostic wax up form, which alone is is one of the forms that's really transformed my dental practice and the ability to treat larger cases. And then I have a pre-treatment records for complex case checklist. I have treatment records for complex case checklists. So what records do you need to take the day of the appointment, the preparation appointment or the records appointments? I have a lab communication form here. I have a, a materials list listing all the materials that we use in our practice. And then I have a little um, handout about online marketing. I talk in the uh, audio CD in the two-day seminar about online marketing, and I talk about Facebook and a few other forms of online marketing. And what I'll tell you is um, the one that I've been mostly focused on is Facebook. And I think that uh, Facebook has great potential in a dental practice. I've been receiving a number of patients from my Facebook page. And Speaking of Facebook, if you have any questions about the leaf gauge technique or anything from this video, if you look below the video, uh, under the order button, there's a comments section where you can post comments on Facebook right there. And I will answer any questions or comments that you have. It's a great way to interact 
we can interact uh, through Facebook, essentially. And most people are on Facebook now. I just only joined a year ago. So uh, I don't really go on for my personal profile, but I go on for my practice profile. And I go on to Facebook for my fail in dental seminars profile. I have a, a business page for each. And then if you look at the handout, you know, the handout is really detailed. I have, how many pages is it? It's 69 pages. And, you know, we go through in detail about uh, the risk assessment for complex cases, how we evaluate the risk involved with treating patients. And if you look here, we have examples of the uh, different uh, literature references that I follow when I'm completing a, uh, putting together a seminar. And then if you look in here, I have an example of the digital photo series that I recommend. I think digital photography is really important to our practice today to uh, communicate with patients the different problems that they have and the different things that we can do to help them, the different options that we can provide them with. So I've included my digital photography series, the photo series I actually take on all my patients uh, that come in for complete records. I've included the head and neck dissection course that I took at uh, uh, the Dawson Academy. I've included some pictures from that in the handout. And you can see some pictures of the dissections I did of the TMJ area and the TMJ capsule. Really interesting stuff. Um, I've included some pictures of using the leaf gauge, again, forward, back, and squeeze. Um, there's a picture, you know, there's a lot of pictures in this handout. There's a picture of how to use uh, a shell to uh, evaluate your preparations and the preparation depth compared to your diagnostic wax up. And I talk about that a lot in the uh, seminar on the audio CDs. And I've included a picture of the splint that I use most of the time when I'm completing a full mouth rehab on a, a wear patient, on a wear patient, or even on a patient who I'm not doing a rehab on, but who has a lot of muscle pain. Patients with muscle pain can be treated pretty effectively with splint therapy. So, you know, that's the whole bundle. If you're interested in uh, ordering this bundle, it's um, $8.95. So it's uh, 600 for the occlusion DVDs and $2.95 for the um, uh, seminar audio DVD and CD along with the binder. And if you order them as a bundle, order them together, I'm going to give you a special bonus, which is the um, video recording from a webinar that I did last year called Preparation Techniques for Porcelain Veneers. And this webinar was about an hour and 40 minutes, and I go through all the different ideas that I have about preparing teeth for veneers, and I show video um, examples filmed from my microscope, close-up video examples of how I'm preparing the teeth with the different diamonds that I'm using. I talk about the diamonds I use. You know, it goes into a lot of detail about preparation techniques for veneers. And then there was a question and answer section where I answered a lot of questions, a lot of good questions about uh, porcelain veneer preparations. So what will happen is, if you click the button below this video, the order now button, if you click that, You'll go to the order page, you fill out your order, you can pay by um, you know, Visa, MasterCard, different types of credit cards. And then when you submit your order, we will ship all of this package to you. The four different occlusion DVDs, the seminar audio CD with DVD, the, the binder, we're gonna ship you the binder. And then I will also email you a link to the page, the next page in this series, which will contain the porcelain veneer webinar. And you'll be able to watch that immediately. So as soon as you order, you're, um, you press, uh, you know, you complete the shopping cart, you'll immediately be emailed the um, porcelain veneer uh, webinar that you can watch at any time you'd like. You'll be able to have it online, you'll have the link, you can watch it any time you like. It'll be something that you can watch on your iPhone, you could watch it on your iPad because it's formatted to work on those, uh, those devices, and you can just watch it on your computer. So that's my gift to you for ordering the bundle and um, as a thank you for uh, you know, learning uh, the different techniques that I've put together after taking courses from Spear, Dawson, Jimmy Eubank, Frank, uh, sorry, John Coy's, you know, I've been to Panky. I've, I've taken a lot of training courses on occlusion, and I've used them to develop a system that I think works really well 
in an actual dental practice because I have a dental practice. This is my big operatory that I do my large cases in, but I have a full-time dental practice. You know, I have four hygienists and I'm running a full-time practice. This is not a, a continuing education center per se. It's more of a dental practice. And you can rest assured that the techniques that I'm showing you work in a dental practice where we have all the issues that you have running a dental practice and having hygienists and regular patients and everything else. So thank you for joining me on this video. If you have any questions or comments, use the uh, Facebook uh, comment section below and uh, we'll connect. I will be happy to answer any questions or comments. And I think it'll be kind of fun, you know, it'll give me a chance to uh, utilize Facebook a little bit more. So thank you for joining me and uh, don't forget, click the button below order the package and we will uh, ship it to you immediately and you'll have instant access to predictable techniques for porcelain veneers. Thank you again.